very scared for them. May 25th, 2017, Brownsville police did a prostitution sting operation. And if you're following the timeline, the timeline of that was suspicious. A missing persons case was filed, a lot of media attention, so the pressure is on them to get answers. Now that roundup of police bus for a prostitution was possibly a big mistake by the Brownsville Police Department. Okay, so that kind of scared the fish away, for lack of a better term. And so you here come the police, and then now they're coming to us for help. Well, you know, we're not gonna cooperate with the police because they're just arrested us. The, the tactics they used didn't play well in the community, and people clammed up. <laughs> Yeah, right. I know what you're saying. Whoa. Wait. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It's different. It's different because each department gets yes. their own intern. So news interns or they made after the sting radio with weather. I think we're all on the same page, but we're just a little off. Yes. But we're all on the same page. <laughs> I'm thinking of the two news interns. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We, we, we do have interns here, of course. Yes, we we do. want to help people yes. achieve their dreams while they're in school and things of that sort. Yeah. And internships really bring, you know, a great opportunity to you. I remember when I was an intern. Me too. And then boom, here I yeah. am now. So it's like uh, me too. My internship at my first TV station turned into my first part-time job at a TV station oh, wow. turned into my first full-time. Yeah. I've never had another job outside of TV and I've already worked for like See? eight lifestyle shows. Yeah. Wow, there you go. Uh -huh. yeah. That's how you get your foot in the door. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing opportunity. Yeah, yeah really I remember is. when I was in college and I was approaching the end of my senior year, I was like, what do I do? Like, you yeah. know, time's ticking. Mm -hmm. And then I remember we had a career fair at our campus wow. and I saw a new station. I was like, oh yeah, I remember I used to really love working for the old I used to love the news. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I met with the news director, we talked it out, and boom, here I am today. Started wow. as an intern too, and moved on up, so. That's mm. amazing. Yeah, so. Wow. If you're an intern, we see you. Mm. Yeah, we do, and we yeah. appreciate you, yes. always. Don't ever feel like you're, oh, I gotta get coffee, I gotta blah, blah, blah for them. No, it's not. I, I did. You had to do that? I had to do that. My get first, coffee for people? Yeah, my first internship experience wasn't the greatest, yeah. Oof. I cleaned bathrooms at the TV station Oof. as an intern. I just wrote stories. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have to do um, nothing, get anything. I had to work my way up to writing scripts and stuff. Oh. Yeah. I literally do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember. <laughs> Windex on the windows, answering nice. the phone calls. Yeah. I had a really good internship. Wow. Good for you, Jeremiah. I remember there was one time there was like breaking news and things were going crazy and nobody could leave and our anchor was like, okay, I'm going to go to the vending machine. Jeremiah, do you want something? I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll take a, a hey. little brisk. Like, okay, anything else? We got uh, pizza on the way. So that wow. taught me like teamwork. So, yeah, you know. I, will, I, I will say our interns though, they do get down to business and we do show them oh, yeah. the actual work. So mm -hmm. they're yeah. very great, they're very grateful. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, and then my experience has led me to treat people with kindness and kindness. respect because you yeah. just never know what they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. that really shaped me to the on-air talent that I am today. Yeah. I love that. And they could be interns, but you never know what they end up in the future, they could be your boss. Yo, exactly. So your watch boss. out now. Your boss. All right. Oh yeah, definitely. We mm -hmm. need quick viewer comments for us. Yes, yes, we have one that I really want to touch on. I told you guys uh, during our break. Yeah. It's Brenda. She said, "You guys are super fun to watch. Love the conversation between you three. You make my mornings." That's so sweet. My heart. We love those kind of comments. Mm -hmm. my heart. We love them. Yeah, that's why we do it. We do it for you guys. We always love your comments, or if you guys see us out in public and you come up to us. Yeah. We love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, we really do. We like talking to each other. Yes, yeah. we do. And, we are and friends. working with each other. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're friends in here. real life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, conditions. Well, let me tell you, since we're, <laughs> since I'm over here trying to prepare you guys, because, mm -hmm. well, Jeremiah, I know you're a big fan of the oh, rain. Yes, we like the rain. Yes, we do like the rain, and we don't mind just getting caught in it. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Slow down. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. But, Danielle, I know you're Sorry. not a fan. I know. I'm literally counting down the days for you. Yeah, I want to wash my car, Brianna. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but today is not the day, or tomorrow, or the next. Just, just wait. Just wait. But we've seen rain as of earlier this week, and yesterday we got a good amount of rainfall totals, and some areas even broke records, including Brownsville and Harlingen. So for Brownsville, they received 2.64 inches, and the old record was 2.12 back in 2019, and Harlingen they received 1.41 inches and the old record was 